This is a 2021 Wildwood FSX by Forest River. Um, this one is shown in the platinum package, which is gonna be the smooth fiberglass on the outside, um, the upgraded gra graphics, the upgraded steel wheels, um, things like that. Um, it's a very minimal option. It's a, I think it's a $595 option. So if you wanna get it in the corrugated side, you can do that as well. Um, it's gonna be the 167 RBK. All right, it's in the carbon interior, has the uh, dry weight coming in just over 3,000 pounds, the gross vehicle weight about 3,800, uh, cargo capacity is going to be about 850 pounds, the hitch weight is going to be about 350, okay, the interior, or exterior height, excuse me, is going to be 10 feet 2 inches, interior height is going to be about 6 foot 6, the exterior length is going to be about 22 feet long and the width is seven feet six inches um, it's going to give you a fresh water capacity of about 38 gallons black and gray at 30 gallons and this is by forest river again the wildwood fsx 167 rbk hey it's kelly thurvey wholesalers today i'm going to do a walk around on a wildwood fsx um, this is the 167 RBK. Um, this one is shown in the platinum package, which gives you the smooth fiberglass. Um, if you don't want that, knock an additional about 600 bucks off of the price. Um, then you can get it in the corrugated aluminum sides. Um, still will come with a power awning, um, LED light strip, has a spot out here with an outside uh, refrigerator. Um, you're gonna see a full size spare, has a place in the bumper you can store the sewer hose, outside shower, it is prepped for a backup camera as well, as well if you want to add one of those. Um, you're going to see right back here, you're going to have a black tank flush. Now what that's going to be is, is once you um, empty out your black tank, you'll hook the water hose up to that to finish rinsing out the sewer um, tank. Um, so the black valve over here with the black handle, the three inch pipe is going to be your black tank, um, which is going to be the toilet. The gray handle, which is the inch and a half pipe is going to be your gray, which is your sinks and your shower. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, hook up your sewer hose. You're going to pull the black valve, let the toilet go ahead and rinse itself out, uh, the black tank. And then after it's rinsed itself out, you're going to hook your water hose up to the black tank flush, turn that on. What that's going to do is it's going to finish rinsing out the black tank clean off the sensors what have you after you're done with that shut the water off close the black valve pull the gray valve that'll finish rinsing out the sewer hose um, we'll have our water heater back here it is a 30 amp service unit um, city water connection that's going to be anytime you're at a campground they have water hookup just going to screw the garden hose right into there what that's going to do is it's going to pressurize the system so you don't have to use your fresh water tank you don't have to use your pump or anything like that now this one here that's going to be for your fresh water tank so if you go camping and you're just out boondocking or you're at a spot and they don't have full hookup you just fill your fresh water tank at the the filling station before you go in and then what they'll do is you'll use your pump to pressurize the system that'll pump the water out of the tank into the taps toilet things like that um, so you can have the water it is an on-demand pump so you don't have to worry about flipping it on and off this the switch to the pump um, come with one propane bottle on the front has a large entry grab handle, double entry step. We'll go in here and check out the inside. All right, so up here in the front, this again, the 167 um, Wildwood FSX will have the rear bathroom. Now, the nice thing is it does have a Murphy bed up front, so it still gives you plenty of floor space up here, um, full size dinette. Um, now this will fold down into a bed, so all you gotta do is just put these cushions down or move them out of the way, and you're just gonna come over here and lift up on that and then this drops down. Then you have a full size mattress up here. Obviously it's tilted up just because it's cushioned so you can stow those cushions somewhere else, put them up there, use them as pillows, what have you. Um, but very easy to do. Um, takes all of 30 seconds or so to, to get that. And then you can pin it up. That way it's not bouncing around. So then the nice thing of it is, is you're not having that full bed out the whole time. So you have, gives you more floor space and a more compact unit. Um, non-ducted AC, non-ducted heat, but it will have heat and air power awning. Um, it does have the double door refrigerator. That is the 12 volt Everchill. Um, so you can see that there, freezer on top, refrigerator on the bottom. 
Most units this size are gonna kind of be the one single unit with the freezer kind of built into the refrigerator. So that is nice as well. Over here, right inside the door, you're gonna see it has a switch for the awning, the pump, the water heater, and then some interior exterior lights. And then also up here, you're gonna have a monitor panel, which shows you the level of your tanks as well. Um, it is a DSI water heater, so direct spark ignition. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you get into the coach, um, it does have a two burner cooktop here. You're just gonna come in here, you're gonna lift up on this, and you're gonna go ahead and light that burner. Let it burn for about 30 seconds after you've turned your propane tanks on. That's gonna ensure that the gas is kind of flowing through. It's not gonna hit any air pockets or anything like that. The thermostat for the furnace is gonna be right here, and then the controls for your air are on the actual unit itself. Now this will fold down and make into a bed as well. A um, couple small kids, what have you. Um, you can lift up on the table, pull the legs out, sit right down, then the back two cushions will sit right over top of the table. Hard pocket door going into the bathroom. Um, foot flush toilet, it's gonna have a uh, vent above the bathroom, plenty of storage back there. Let you go in there and take a peek at that. But very nice, I mean the nice thing too with the new interior colors, uh, very uh, neutral, bright, light colors. Um, very, very popular. And again, the, the weight on these, the pricing, I mean, we're running excellent pricing for these. I mean, you're going to be able to get into one of these um, in the teens. So give us a call. We'd love to um, help you guys out, go over our nationwide service network with you. Also, they do have some other floor plans as well, kind of in this same weight, length, price point. So if this is something that you think you like, but you want one with bunk beds, the 178 is really awesome as well. Um, but give us a call, 877-877-4494. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you.